Uh, a lot of the theist argument relied on uh, the Big Bang and the fact that the universe as a singularity has a, a finite beginning. Um, but in physics, if the, the mass of the universe is great enough, the force of gravity will eventually contract the universe and we could possibly have another Big Bang again. If that's the case, uh, what's your explanation for the need for a creator and in an infinite universe? Uh, because the universe can't be infinite due to the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics will not allow the universe to collapse back and, re and go back and forth unendingly. I'll give you an example. If I were to take a basketball right now here and drop it, how high would it drop or how high would it bounce again? Would it bounce as high as I dropped it from? No, it's going to lose energy every time until ultimately it's going to peter out. Secondly, uh, the, um, you know, you get older, you start to lose your train of, uh, train of, uh, uh, oh, oh, the WMAP satellite, which was uh, put up in 2003, as Christopher pointed out rightly, uh, discovered that the universe is now accelerating and it will expand forever. So, it, at least through the scientific evidence at this point. Thirdly, time had a beginning according to Einstein and you can't traverse an infinite number of moments. If there were an infinite number of moments before today, today never would have gotten here. So time had a beginning as well. So the universe is not eternal, therefore it needs a cause outside itself and as I mentioned before that cause must be spaceless, timeless and immaterial and also personal to go from a state of non-existence to a state of existence. But according to you sir, uh, the creator isn't bound by these thermodynamic laws because when I pointed out the, the imminence of nothingness a while ago you did say maybe God wants that so he can begin all over again. And maybe he does. You, the I mean, creator you're, you're, you're is not free, bound by the second if, law of if, thermodynamics. If, if, if this being exists you're free to attribute any quality to him that you like. No, what I'm saying is, it's is just that you it, claim it, to know his mind. That's the bit where I part company with you. If God wants the universe to ultimately peter out, he can do that. But if he wants to intervene and stop it, he can also do that as well. And that's what Revelation 22 says. Yeah, th but that's not the second law of thermodynamics, is it? So why do you bother with the thermodynamics? What is law? not the second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamics helps establish that there was a creator. To get to the Bible, you have to go through several steps and see if there were miracles after the first one. And if Jesus really did rise from the dead, then whatever he teaches, since he's God, is true. But then you just misled, you've given a misleading to, uh, answer to the gentleman. You said, no, it couldn't happen. That what there could couldn't be an, happen? There, could be, there couldn't be another Big Bang. There, there, could, there could if the creator According to it. the current laws of nature. Let us move to our very Natural patient law. audience members. Which mean nothing to you.